that data centers are on fire as more and more companies migrate to the cloud and need off-site locations to store all their servers and software. That's why last April I recommended CoreSight Realty, C-O-R, a real estate investment trust that owns data centers in major metro areas like New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago. Since then, the stock has run up nearly 50%, including a terrific 34% gain just since the beginning of 2017. And look, business remains good. CoreSight reported an excellent quarter late last April, and the company currently pays you a 3.4% yield after raising its dividend by 12.5% last month. It's got a great, great tradition of raising its dividend. So can it keep climbing? Let's take a closer look with Paul Zurich. He's the president and CEO of CoreSight Realty. Find out more about his company and its prospects. Mr. Zurich, welcome to Mad Money. Glad to be here. Obviously, I should say Paul, because Paul's in my law school class at Harvard in 84. All right, Paul, thank you so much for being here. First thing I want to do is congratulate you, because you really have, as you say, held up your end of the bargain. It's been a remarkable way and a much less risky way to play the, the revolution in tech. Well, we, uh, we've been fortunate. Uh, we started with a base of data centers in great markets, but also had unique characteristics. Uh, most of them are very network dense you know, right next to the eyeball networks, right. right next to the networks that the cloud companies now use, and other companies will continue to use to, gener to get data products out to consumers. But we added to that a unique piece that we typically are uh, the only provider of in most of our markets, which is the scalable capacity right next to the network node in a campus environment which, uh, as you know, computing process power keeps increasing, processors get more powerful, you know, CPU chips go to GPU mm -hmm. chips, and as a result, higher density deployments are required, and if you could put them and directly connect to your network nodes, it's extremely efficient and saves a lot of cost. Now, Paul, you uh, probably saw the news today about digital realty merging to fibers. Is this the beginning of a lot of consolidation, or really just there are really only a couple companies that really are special enough to do what you do? Um, you know, I, I don't really know much about their thinking right. about their merger, so I don't I, I don't see it as, a, as, as the beginning of a trend. Okay. It's, um, you know, we are in somewhat of a differentiated product for the most part, so it doesn't seem to have much impact on us. Okay. Uh, if someone were to go inside one of your digital, one of your facilities, Please tell people exactly what you'd see, because a lot of times uh, there are people who are saying, wow, that sounds really good, but what's in those things? Uh, mostly racks with computers in them, servers. Um, but they'll see uh, in our facilities a range of, of servers from those that run on like three to five kilowatts per rack, which are low density kind of typical processing units to as high as uh, 20, 30 kilowatts per rack for much higher density, much more powerful compute with much more significant cooling requirements. And I think the thing that, that would strike people the most is the engineering around power and cooling and how it changes from space to space and room to room depending upon the deployment. Well, it must use a gigantic amount of power, the data center. It does, and that's one of our biggest uh, focus areas is to continue to improve power efficiency. And that's partly why this campus model works is that most of these network nodes are in uh, less efficient carrier hotel space, hard to cool it efficiently. Okay. But if we can build scale next to it, we can achieve for our customers much more much more uh, efficient power and lower their cost. Uh, there's a company, NVIDIA, and stock trades pretty crazily, uh, I, but I've liked it for a long time. Mm -hmm. It went up and down today. Um, and they have a, a chip in a box that they say could be equal to 400 servers that's going to come out this fall. Can some innovation like that impact a core site business? So historically, and I think the same will probably bear fruit here, as as processing power has become more efficient, mm -hmm. therefore less costly, it has enabled more use cases for data. And as a result, the demand has continued to exceed the improvements in processing power. And there are some things on the horizon that require probably this kind of processing power to really go commercial in a big way. You know, uh, autonomous driving right. vehicles, right. Uh, internet of things, uh, artificial intelligence, and a lot of the 
really cutting edge data analytics that uh, I think we'll see over the next 5, 10, 15 years. Now, uh, one thing I, I want to make sure that people understand is these are differentiated products. You, but you do have almost every single major tech company uses CoreSight, right? I think that's right. Right, I mean, because yeah. anyone who wants to can look at the deck because it's all it's Amazon, but it's Cisco, it's everybody. I mean, there isn't anyone that I thought that I saw didn't see there of the companies that we all. Yeah, no, I, I think I think uh, we have pretty much all of them in our in our data centers, and you know, a lot of our peer companies do as well. These companies have great demand. We just we just are in that space that has a, a little is a bit more differentiated, and we provide a bit more customization that creates a certain value proposition for these customers in the in the big edge markets where right. they need to meet their customers. Right. Well, what I can tell people is that if that volatility today was too much for you when it comes to the big tech stocks, the FANG stocks, this is another and I think less heart-stopping way to invest. It's Corsite Realty, that's Paul Zurich, president and CEO of the company. Stick with Craig. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the Jump on My Exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.